All right. Hey, everybody. Happy, happy end of the week. Happy beginning of the week. Hey, it's your boy, Chef Troy B., and welcome to another episode. So today we're doing a nice summer salad. Uh, it's a Tuscan bread salad called a panzanella. It's super easy. You know, you can take it on picnics. You don't have to worry about it going bad. Um, it's just a few simple ingredients. I love the Italians because they just make simple stuff work. Um, but you know how we like to get started. <clears throat> I like to cast my vision. My vision is to strengthen, renew, and restore interpersonal relationships through the sharing of meals and the joy of cooking. And I'm happy to have my man back, number one son, a.k.a. Afro Samurai, a.k.a. Tyzel, my man, Tyrus. He's like, yeah, great dad, yeah. So we're back together. The team's all back together. So let's go ahead and get this started. Let me show you the ingredients we're going to use. We're going to use some bread as you know they say use day old bread but you know who's got day old bread around uh and then we're going to use a little cucumber some red uh, pepper half of this onion and then i got some nice uh mixed heritage uh tomatoes some baby tomatoes and then i'm going to make a vinaigrette using some nice extra virgin olive oil a little citrus champagne vinegar Put a little dab of mustard in there and just some herbs and some spices, salt, pepper. And then we're going to top it off with a little bit of basil. So let's get started. So a panzanella is basically, you know, some bread and some fresh vegetables. And it's, you know, it's a peasant's meal. So they come from a hard day working out in the field or, you know, uh, they just got some leftover bread, maybe a little bit of bottle of wine, and everybody just kind of chipping what they have left over. So this is probably how this all got started. So we're just going to take the bread. I'm going to cut it in half like this. Then I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise. And then we're going to cut some nice little chunks. So basically we're going to make some nice little croutons. And I'm going to season it with a little salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and then we're going to toast them in my toaster oven. And while that's all going on, I'm going to cut up the vegetables for the salad. Uh-oh. Once again, gravity in full effect. So we're just going to pop that in here like that. See, nothing fancy. I mean, I could even tore them. You, you don't want to cut them. You can just tear them into bite-sized pieces. You know, don't... Don't drive yourself crazy, okay? <laughs> so, you know, we just tear them into bite-sized pieces like that. And we're going to take a little bit of our olive oil. This is a fresh, brand-new bottle. Shout-out to my Trader Joe's in the Forum in Peachtree Corners. My go-to store for everything. So we're just going to pop that open. Get this top off. It's not letting me be great. There we go. So just a little bit of that. Just a glug, give it a toss, maybe just a pitch more, not a lot, we don't want to drain it, we don't want to drown it, so we're just going to get a little toss, like that, and then just a little salt, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, and just a pinch of some Italian seasoning And this is basically how you make some flavor croutons as well, so if you ever want to make your own croutons And make them any flavor that you want and then I'm going to stick it on my sheet pan here I'm going to use that bowl again try to keep it all simple today So I'm just going to throw it in here until they get toasty until they get nice All right, so in here I'm going to make my vinaigrette now so I just want to throw all my vegetables in here after that. So who remembers where the vinaigrette is? It's three parts vinegar. Uh-oh. And the corks dried out on that and popped that off. So hold on for a second. Let me go grab my backup bottle of vinegar here. That was crazy. The, the top got a little the top got a little dry. The cork got dry. So it just popped off. But I'm just going to use some uh, white vinegar here. So we're just going to pour a little bit in here like that. 
and then just a little bit of mustard. This is going to help emulsify, make your, give it a little body, give it a little zip, just a splash of that. A little bit of salt, a little bit of cracked pepper, and a little bit of some of my friend Chef Jennifer Duck Duck Chicken Seasoning. It's got all kinds of herbs, very herby, very earthy. So I'm going to add just a little bit more vinegar in here. I'm just kind of eyeballing. And so, so I'm going to get this started. In there like that. And now, we just slowly drizzle in. olive oil. It's going to start to come together. It's going to start to emulsify. Give it a nice flavor, nice earthy tone, a little flavor there. Mm -mm. Smells good already. So that's what you want right there. Got a little body, give it a little taste. Perfect. Now we'll just set that aside. Like that. And now we're going to work on our vegetables. So we're going to give this a quick toss in our vinaigrette, give it a head start. What is that, huh? Does that say summer? Summer out in the park? Now what you can you pair with your panzanella? You can do grilled chicken, you can do shrimp skewer, you can do pretty much anything. It's a nice side. So if you're having people over, make a big batch of this. Check on my bread. Oh yeah, it's ready. That's ready. I'm going to turn that off. I'm gonna grab an oven mitt or this lovely towel here. I think I took it on my own. There's your croutons. Nice. Throw that all in there like that. Everybody into the pool. Uh oh. Got to escape from New York over there. Let me just spoon that out on your plate real nice. Mmm. Tires, you want some? That's a big neg that's a big negative from tires. So that's really nice. And there you have it. A little panzanella salad. And if you want it, you can, you know, top it off with a little bit of basil on top, like that. Maybe a little extra drizzle of olive oil. Like that. Mm. Nothing says summer. Like a bowl of fresh salad. So you just take some of this. A little bit of that, a little bit of your bread if you can catch it. Uh oh, chaos ensues. Mm, that's really good. <laughs> 